Hello my friends, it is I, Vadim, and in this video I want to show you a storage crisis that I'm currently facing. Uh, this right here is my MacBook Air base model with 256 gigabytes of memory and it is not enough. As you can see, I make all my videos on this laptop right here and I have run out of uh, SSD space long ago. So in this video, I'm going to use this crucial X9 Pro external SSD and we'll see if uh, this thing will be a suitable replacement for you know, internal storage because the plan is to put all my video files on the crucial X9 Pro and just keep editing off of it without ever, you know, uploading all the uh, files onto the MacBook. In the box you will find this cable right here. It's a USB-C to USB-C cable for connection to connect this drive to your uh, laptop. The X9 is now connected and let's check how fast it can transfer files. So I have a project here that uh, I've shot on my iPhone in 4K 60 footage. And let's see how big is that folder. Yeah, that folder is 24 gigabytes. Let's time how long it will take to transfer it to the SSD. One two, three, go. Yeah, it's going pretty fast. Look at that. Seven gigabytes done already. Half. That's 15 seconds already. 10 seconds left. Five. Can I do it in under 30 seconds? boom done and yes indeed it's well close to 30 seconds basically 24 gigabytes transferred in under 30 seconds that is mighty fast the files are now uploaded onto the external ssd and what i want to do now is the main part that is you know use those files that are stored on this external SSD to edit those videos in Final Cut, in Final Cut Pro, off of that SSD alone. Because I've disabled uh, the option that actually uploads everything that I add here onto the main internal SSD. I've disabled that. So the file that you see here in the timeline, it is actually stored on this SSD. Well, let's have a look at the performance. Are we going to experience any dropped frames, anything like that? No, it appears nice and smooth. Yeah, it's silky smooth. So the playback is absolutely brilliant. Let's do some cutting. So we do cut, delete, cut, delete. And everything is so responsive. Look at that. It is amazing. You know what? <laughs> yes. Basically, uh, this thing right here, Crucial X9 Pro, it's a two terabyte drive and it works perfectly. I mean, if you have a laptop with an internal storage that is not upgradable or you just simply don't want to open it up and upgrade it that way, this right here is a brilliant, brilliant solution to the problem with the storage. And finally, let's do some benchmarks. Like, uh, let's check how good this, um, this drive is in terms of uh, pure performance. I have two benchmarks, Blackmagic speed test and uh, just the regular speed test. Let's start with the regular speed test first. 
select our X9 Pro and open, hold on, choose, and then go. I'll skip the video to the end of the test to show you the results because it takes quite a while. There we go, that's the results. 932 megabytes read and 767 uh, megabytes write. Now let's have a look how well it does in Blackmagic Disk Speed Test. It's pretty much the same for write, actually uh, faster, and a bit slower for read. So as you can see, uh, different benchmarks yield different uh, results. But here we have a list of types of video files that are basically, you know, okay to work with, with these speeds. And from what I can see is 8K60, only ProRes 422HQ is not okay. Uh, anything below that basically is absolutely fine even 8k60 h265 is fine and blackmagic raw 8k60 is fine as well actually even up to 12k24 fps is fine ah, awesome awesome so yeah this is a very fast drive certainly capable of doing what i needed it to do which is replace my internal storage and not take any performance hits. Everything is smooth. Files are transferring ultra fast, as you've seen. 24 gigs in like 27 seconds. Yeah, amazing. This right here is the solution. And the best part is that it is fairly affordable because check it out, one terabyte drive, $70. 2 terabyte drive, $110, and 4 terabytes, $216. Links will be in the description below if you want to check it out. If you have a similar problem to what I had, I say had because now it is solved with this thing. And look how tiny it is. It is very small. Yeah. Highly recommended. Furthermore, a crucial offer an even faster drive, X10 Pro. And they also come in 1, 2 and 4 terabyte flavors. And they are a bit more expensive. So 1 terabyte is $108. 2 terabytes is $153. And 261 dollars for 4 terabytes, which is still quite cheap because memory is cheap right now. One of the best times to actually upgrade your storage. But with this thing, I've encountered a bit of trouble, you know, pairing it with my MacBook. And also I've checked it on several other MacBooks. Unfortunately, it cannot, uh, you know, offer the full advertised speed. It will perform exactly the same as the X9 Pro on the Mac. So to get the full speed, the full like 20 gigabit per second transfer speed, you do have to use it with a Windows PC and format it, for, you know, use the file format NTFS, which is Windows based format to get that maximum speed. Unfortunately, that is uh, a shame because, <laughs> you know, MacBooks, they do have that 40 gigabit per second Thunderbolt port. So it shouldn't be a problem, but for some reason it is. It is what it is. It's still a good drive. I will be using it for years to come. Awesome memory and awesome solution. If you are in need of a solution to your internal SSD problems, you know, lack of storage space, then, you know, I think Crucial is offering something very, very attractive here compact external SSDs that work fast and, uh, you know, offer the same kind of performance that your internal SSD would in general. If you are interested in one of these products, I'll have them linked in the description below, so go check it out. Other than that, you know what to do on YouTube. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. And it was I, Vadim, 
I'll see you in the next video.